In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a pixelated effect in After Effects. So I've got my example image here of this forest and I'm just going to do a quick search for an effect and the effect you want to use for this is called CC Ball Action and it should come up right there. So I'm just going to drag that onto my example image. Okay, so straight away it will give you a sort of pixelated effect and the reason why it is called CC Ball Action is because it is meant to convert your image or video into these sort of 3D shaded spheres. Now what we want is we want just a 2D image and there's an easy way to do that. So the main thing you want to focus on here is grid spacing and this pretty much controls how pixelated the image is. So if I put it down to a low value, it pretty much gives me the base image, but as you can see it's got this kind of cool sort of mini pixelated effect here, you can see that. And then the more you increase it, the more the pixels are. So as you can see here, we've got giant pixels here, which is kind of cool. Um, so I'm just going to put this back down to a relatively low value. Now another important thing to change here is the ball size. And this pretty much controls what the pixels look like, and I'll show you what I mean. So if I put it to a really low value, it actually makes all the pixels go into the circles, which is going back to the ball effect here. And if you put the effect really high, you just get normal looking pixels here. So if I have this on a really high value and then I control the grid scaling, you've pretty much got yourself a pixel effect. So here we go, here's the image which is slightly pixelated, as you can see is a bit of pixelation here. And then if I put it up, it starts going very, very pixelated. And then obviously here you've got an incredibly pixelated up close image here. So there we go, that's how you add a pixelated effect really easily. And as always, I hope you found this video useful. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this in the future, please subscribe.